Hello everybody, it's Mark with Launchpad B and I'm coming in today with another ClipChamp.com video. Now they've got a new feature, well it's not new, but it's a feature they started advertising recently uh, that really had me interested. And it gives you the ability to load a video into ClipChamp from your Google Drive. So I figured it was a really good idea and I wanted to try out to see how it works. Now I haven't actually done this yet, uh, so we'll be kind of testing it out together to see how beneficial it is. Now I will begin by saying that I typically don't use Google Drive as a way to get files to myself. When I use Google Drive, it's to deliver a finished video to a client. I basically put it in a folder and they can download it. You know, picking up one or two files off of Google Drive is not a big deal, uh, but if you're trying to batch download a bunch of files at one time, it tends to be very cumbersome. Now, the other thing that is kind of interesting to me is that most of the files that I need to gain access to are gonna be found under Google Photos. Um, and that's because if I'm shooting with a cell phone, uh, my files will automatically load to Google Photos. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to take a file off of Google Photos and easily move it into Google Drive. So that's kind of a challenge for me being a creator uh, and I shoot content on my phone is that I would then basically have to download the files off my phone and then load them into Google Drive in order to use that feature. So it's kind of busts for me in that area. Now, I will say that if you're working with a client that delivers you files and you do the editing for them, uh, Google Drive may not be so bad if it's not, again, a large amount of files. But either way, now that I actually take a close look at this, this isn't a feature that would really benefit me very much. As a matter of fact, I'm wondering how many people out there will actually benefit from using this feature. But all in all, let's see how it works. So we're going to go ahead and launch ClipChamp.com and I'm going to go ahead and just start a blank project. Now in the area here, there, are, there is some options to load your files. The first one is to browse and load from your computer. Now clipchamp.com to me is my favorite online editing tool because when I load files from my computer, it actually doesn't load files. It just finds them on my computer and it's very quick. And I love that about ClipChamp. You don't have to have a super computer to do this. So that's still, in my opinion, the best way to do video editing on clipchamp.com. Now they do have the option here to either import from Google Drive, from Box, or from Zoom. Zoom again, if you're doing like a conference call. But let's say, let's go ahead and click on the Google Drive option now. Now the first time you click on this, it's gonna ask you about which Google account you wanna link. You give it permission and then it'll give you access. I've already done that. Uh, so now I'm in my Google Drive. Now for some reason, it doesn't give me the option to look at folders. It just gives me everything in my Google Drive all at once. So now I have to go through and find the videos that I'm looking for. And there's a lot of content in here because again, I shared this with clients. I put a lot of work into here. Um, so unfortunately, I wish that there was a way for me to identify where the files were at. I'd have to know what the file name is. Uh, fortunately, I know what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the files that I want and it's gonna be this Peghook uh, project. So let's see, I wonder if I can select multiple at once. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna hold on the shift button and select. So let's see how long it takes to import that. Now. When you're working from a computer, it tends to be very quick. And it looks like from this standpoint, it's also working pretty quick as well. Uh, if you do them one at a time, it's probably a lot faster than doing a batch select. So let's go ahead and let this thing run. Okay, so about two minutes have elapsed now and all of the videos are now officially showing up on ClipChamp, which is pretty quick. This is actually about 20 gigabytes worth of video that I've loaded to Google Drive. Now, when I loaded this footage to Google Drive, it actually took about 40 minutes for it to upload on my super fast internet connection to Google Drive for me to do this demonstration for you. So I am impressed on how fast I was able to import these files into ClipChamp. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna drop them into the timeline to see how well they perform. So we're gonna go ahead and start off uh, with the very first clip, which is a product panning shot. And I just need to find the, the sweet spot here. Uh, and it looks like we are getting a little bit of lag for some reason um, on the timeline here. So not ideal, uh, but it's still workable. Let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm gonna go ahead and cue this to a spot I like. All right, we want the product to kind of spin a little bit. Yeah, there is some stuttering happening here and some, some things I don't like, but it is still working. It's as if I was working with the machine that was maybe had a slow processor on it and I was trying to do video editing on it and not supposed to be doing that. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and introduce another product panning shot and let's see if we can get this to work smoothly. Split there. So now we're gonna use a couple of product shots um, of this product being used. So let's go ahead and select some video of the products being placed onto the shelf, onto the peg hooks. 
And if you can't tell, this is a pay cook commercial that I shot for an Amazon seller. Now the video is already done. I'm just using this as an example uh, for some of the work. So there we go. Okay, so now that I've done is I went in and selected some of the clips. We put them on the timeline. And so a second ago when we first tried to work with this, it was very laggy and stuttering, uh, which was a concern. But it looks like now that they've been on here for some reason, they're not lagging anymore. I'm not sure what that is, but when you play it, it actually plays very smoothly on the viewer, which I'm now I'm impressed with. Like I said, initially uh, it was laggy, which was a problem, and now it's not. I'm not sure why, but we'll take it. Uh, but it looks like overall working directly out of the drive is just as smooth as it is working from your computer. So I am impressed with that. Uh, it is a good feature. Again, I'm not sure who would really benefit from using it, uh, but I am impressed with it so far. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and export the file and I wanna see how quickly it'll export if it's as fast as working from the desktop version. So I'm gonna select export on the top right and I'm gonna go with the 480 because that's what's free. I'm working with the free version right now and we're gonna go ahead and do that. So now we're gonna look at the clock. So the edit speed is extremely fast. Um, it's actually faster than if I was working from my computer, which is really cool. Um, I've never had a video export that quickly before and now it's gone ahead and it has actually dropped it onto my computer. And here's the finished video. So really cool. I did it in 480 resolution, which again is the free version uh, if you're looking to test and, and tinker with it. Uh, but I will say that at 480 resolution, it actually looks really good. So again, as a recap, the drive version working from the drive is pretty cool. Um, again, it's not really beneficial to me, um, but maybe somebody out there will benefit from using files on a drive. If somebody's transferring you files to work on for them, it is very feasible and the export speed is phenomenal. So thanks for watching and I hope this has been helpful. Thank <laughs> you.